Welcome back, guys. This is the latest update of our seven-way layered coatings and sealants longevity test. This being update number 10, or the seven-month mark. The weather has cooled off and it's been somewhat rainy, so let's see how things have been affected. The last 30 days weather, as well as the lifetime weather that this hood has seen, is on your screen here. If you would like to support the channel, all you have to do is hit that like button, subscribe, and of course, comment down below if you have any experience with any of these products. And if you have, how many layers you have used. If you do plan on purchasing any of these products, please consider doing so through the links in the video description as it really does help the channel out so you can continue to see tests like these. If you're just joining us, please be sure to check out the entire series of each of these videos, including the setup, as there is a ton of work that goes into the research prep, install, and continued testing of these. So there has been some interesting results so far with this one, so let's go ahead and dive into it. So we'll foam everything down using Chemical Guys Honeydew Snow Foam, rinse it, foam it again, wash it with an Australian sheep's wool wash mitt, and then rinse to inspect the hydrophobic properties before we dry everything off. So with that out of the way, let's jump right into it and see how things are getting on. So remember from the last update that Meguiar's hybrid paint coating, one layer had failed, Griot's had already failed, and here we are with Nanobond, one, two, three, and five layers. Nanobond traditionally, when applied two layers, will last but somewhere between eight to 12 months, if not longer, in previous testing. You can see that it's still doing all right. Meguiar's hybrid paint coating, I think you're gonna get best results with that with two layers or more. You can see that the one layer had failed, two, three, and five layers, still looking all right. Avalon King, getting pretty weak. The surface tension does break, but it is not looking too hot. In other tests, expect somewhere around a one, uh, the one year mark is what we're expecting to see when two layers are applied. So, so far not seeing a whole lot of difference there. So we know Sonex had failed around the five month mark, new finish graphene and soft 99 Fuso. So new finished graphene, it's been another test and the seven, eight month mark, it's still hanging in there. It's a little bit weaker on this one and I really don't have an explanation as to why other than the direct comparison to the other test would be the two layer section. So the second one from the top all the way across. Yeah, it's not looking great. The surface tension does break and it does eventually sheet off but it is not hydrophobic like it once was. And Soft 99 Fuso, that is the PTFE or Teflon version, which I believe is no longer available now. That's still doing all right. None of them doing great, but Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating and Nano Bond doing really well. Avalon King, maybe less or so. New Finish Graphene and Soft 99 Fuso, not looking great. So what are your thoughts? Do you see any differences between the layers one, two, three, or five layers all, as you go down. Starting to see some with new finished graphene, perhaps. Maybe at the one and two layer mark, but three and four, they look like they're doing a little better. Hi, uh, Meguiar's Hybrid Paint Coating, look at the second layer under the one that had failed. A little less hydrophobic than three layers and five layers, but at this point, none of them are looking great. They did all have to suffer through the Texas summer that we had an incredibly record setting, record breaking temperatures, 110 plus degrees. And what is that? Something like 43, 44 degrees Celsius. So the, the surface temperatures were much, much warmer than that. So there's your update guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.